Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can access many commands using the menu bar. The menu bar is the toolbar at the top of the design view which displays the command categories of file, edit, view, insert, format, database, report, window, and help. Clicking on a command category displays the names of functions which would logically belong to that category. For example, if you click the file command in the menu bar, you'll see such commands as new, open, save, and other file management commands. You may then click on any command displayed in black to perform that function. A command that is displayed in gray is simply unavailable for selection at that time. Also note that commands which are followed by the ellipses mark, such as new or open, will display a dialog box in which you will need to enter additional information or make some additional choices before you can execute that command. And this would be in contrast to a command like exit or close, which needs no additional information from you in order to be performed. You'll also see some menu commands which are followed by a right pointing arrow. When you roll your mouse pointer over one of these commands, such as print, you'll be presented with an additional side menu of commands from which you'll need to select the command you wish to execute. While we've discussed using the menu bar in terms of your mouse, you can also easily access the commands through the keyboard. Many commonly used menu commands display shortcuts to the right of their menu listing which you can press in the future in order to quickly perform the command. So for example, if you click the file command in the menu bar, you'll see that the keyboard shortcut for the new command is Control plus N on your keyboard. To use the keyboard shortcut in the future, first ensure that you don't have any menu command list displayed. And you can retract a displayed command list by simply clicking into the empty space on screen. Then simply press and hold down the Control key on your keyboard while you press and release the N key just once on your keyboard. And that should invoke the Crystal Reports Gallery dialog box once again, just as if you had selected File and then clicked on New from the menu bar with your mouse. You can then close the displayed dialog box by using your mouse or simply pressing the Escape key on your keyboard, which is the shortcut used to cancel a displayed dialog. You can also notice that not every single command shown in the menu bar necessarily has a displayed keyboard shortcut. However, you can still select any command in the menu bar using your keyboard, which can increase the speed with which you can select your commonly used commands and functions. Once again, in order to use this technique, you must ensure that there's no menu command list currently displayed on screen. Then press and hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and examine the commands listed in the menu bar. You should see a small underline appear below a certain letter in each command. At this point, press the letter on your keyboard that corresponds to the underlined letter in the menu bar command, which contains the subcommand which you wish to execute. So for example, if I wanted to execute the new command again, I could simply press F on my keyboard to correspond with the underline in file. At this point, you're going to see the list of subcommands appear. And notice that every single subcommand also has a slightly underlined letter, like the N in new, the O in open, the C in close. At this point, you don't have to hold down the Alt key any longer. You can simply press the le letter on your keyboard, which corresponds to the underlined letter in the subcommand you wish to execute. So, for example, pressing N on your keyboard will execute the new command. So, in addition to doing Control N on our keyboard, we could also have done Alt F N on our keyboard. Also, notice that when you have a menu listing displayed, some of them will show a picture to the left of the command. This lets you know that if you see the same picture in a toolbar, you can click it to execute the same function that the command performs. So for example, clicking the new command, if I see the picture of the paper in a toolbar, which I do over to the left in the standard toolbar, I can click on that picture in the future to do the same thing as choosing File New from the menu bar. So using the menu bar is a great way to start to learn how to use the application
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.